Good day, Shrine Sherpas! I'm on silent, and we're on the air with more Final Fantasy IX. It's episode 43 of Final Fantasy IX. Thanks very much for joining me. This is the second time I've actually had to go through and do Final Fantasy IX, uh, episode 43, because, uh, well, if you've been watching the uh, Doom 2 videos, I mentioned my problems with uh, Windows 10 build 1703. I'm slowly but surely backing everything up that I have saved locally, like, you know, Steam games that I'm playing or intend to play, save files for said games, and then eventually going to make my switch back to Windows 7, but for now we're back on build 1511 of Windows 10, so it actually runs. I tr When I tried recording this the first time, it stuttered impressively badly. Like, I mean, I wouldn't be able to do this without it, like, you know, turning into a goddamn slideshow. And it didn't record the audio either. So it was just a silent video. So it was really... I mean, I'm sure I could have spliced in some music underneath and, you know, been fine. But it's just like, ah, uh, that's such a waste. And I keep rolling save files, like, you know, like two or three recording sessions at a time. Okay, five for Final Fantasy number nine. But I like five recording sessions at a time. So I can always go back to the previous save. So I know what's coming up for episode 43, but I gave up after episode 43 because, you know, Windows 10 you know creators update you know for something that's supposed to help creators create it actually did the opposite for me so we are off to the four shrines if you recall the last episode card in the top right playlist in the description and the cards in the top right as always in the last episode we got the four mirrors that from ipsen's castle here whoop there it is that told us we have to go to four different shrines uh earth fire wind water no heart <laughs> Oh, Captain Planet humor once again. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we're going. We're going to start with the Water Shrine because it's right here. We will drop off our the first of our friends here at the Water Shrine. And they'll explain. We know that... Uh, we know that we're breaking into pairs, the eight of us. I don't even know what the pairs are, but I'm going to at least pretend for the sake of entertainment that I don't know what's going to happen. Are you going to be okay by yourselves? Nope. You're the one who suggested we split up. What, don't you trust me and Dagger? For the sake of my sanity, no, I don't trust you. <laughs> you just want to pair up with Dagger. Smart Echo. Smart Echo. You better get going. We need to take all points simultaneously. Like, do they have cell phones or some way of communicating with each other? It's like... You know, at 16.05, then we're all going in. Where are you going next, and who are you going to drop off? My power is protected high atop a fiery mountain. I think I'll ask Frey and Amaret to take that location. All right, now get going. Don't make us ladies wait. I'll be back to get you guys soon. you also be the... Now the men are gone. We can do all the girl talk we want. Girl talk? Much to learn, you still have. Aiko lived with a bunch of Moogles for all her, most of her life. And, uh, well, let's just... Yeah, if we're dropping off Freya and Amaranth next. Just sub them. Actually, it would... I would spend last time if I just put these two in here, and I'm just, just saving myself some time. It's in case... It doesn't automatically take you to the next location. So what happens here... Yeah, is that you can just, you know, you can if you could go wandering. Now that you've dropped off, uh, Aiko and uh, and Dagger, you can go wandering off and just like do your own thing. I could, you know, weigh anchor here and just wander around the plains if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but I could if I wanted to. Now, if memory serves, that. There's a volcano around here. Ah, there. Smoke. I said smoke. I didn't say Snoke. I said smoke. There's Fire Shrine. That's two. So we'll drop off the kids here. As we visit them down in. We're going to overheat. She can't take much. <laughs> she can't take much more of this, Captain. Sedane heat is going to kill the engine if we get any closer. It's a steam engine. It helps it steam more. It should make the engine go better. Okay, when we get closer to the volcano, you two head for the shrine's entrance. 
Just jump. Do you have a parachute? Why do I have to go with her? Oh, sorry. Do you want to go with Aiko? Good luck. All right. Our next destination is protected behind the tornado. The Wind Shrine. Pairing up Steiner and Quinna seems like a bad idea. I think I'll ask Vivi to babysit Steiner. <laughs> oh, poor Rusty. All right. So, if memory serves, I got to go back this way. Ooh, no. I've lost control. I've lost control. I'm spitting out. Crap. I could turn. I've lost. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Hang on. Hang on. Let me try something. No, that didn't fix it. <laughs> I tried. I forgot I had my Xbox controller plugged in. It doesn't like the Xbox controller. All right. Let's see. Uh... Nope. Nope. We've. We're just going left. We're going hard to the left. All right. No, no. I've lost. I've I've completely lost control of the situation. This has gone horribly wrong. Give me a couple minutes. I'll try and fix it. We'll be right back. Enjoys the technical difficulty screen. All right, we're back in business. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know what the hell happened there, to be perfectly honest. But I mean, why? Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and I forget the name of the song. Uh, or how the song goes. I think this is a shimmering island here. I think this is, I think that's a shimmering island. So we need to remember where that is. So we can come back here in a little bit. Over Q's Marsh. Now, let's see if I can remember where the wind shrine is. It's in like a... I want to say it was around here-ish, but I could be wrong. Because it's not. it never shows up on the maps, right? So I can pull up the map, ask where the water shrine is. Yeah, there's the water shrine. There's Ibsen's castle. There's Aelvair. Daguerreo. But, like, somewhere on here, and I want to say down here is just where the Wind Shrine is. But it doesn't exactly tell you where the Wind Shrine is, so... You kind of got to figure it out for yourself. As it tries desperately to load its way... Yeah, see, I was right. Now, if you listen care... Oops. Now, if you listen carefully, you can't tell it's a Wind Shrine. So we'll just offload Rusty and Vivi here. Now there, you can tell it's a wind shrine. Wow, the wind is strong. It's the wind shrine, so it's protected by strong gusts. A.K.A. No shit, Sherlock. There's no need to worry, Master Vivi. Just follow me. Okay. See, there's nothing to fear. Really? There's lots to fear. Okay, just because you're wearing armor. Let's move forward, Master Vivi. I will block the wind for you. Are they going to be okay? Oh, about as okay as you're going to be. But I'm with Kinna. <laughs> I should worry more about myself. Yes, brother. You should, should. You should. We should check our equipment and see what blue magic Quinna can use. My power is protected under the shaking ground, huh? Now, before we land, let's, let's take Zidane up on his advice. For this fight, and I'm just going to go to the equip. You want to, yeah, change that fast. The angel bless, hashtag blessed. And you want to basically, you're, you're looking for good magic defense. So every little bit of magic defense you can get. I mean, um, you know, there's something to be said for, you know, going with something that's going to, you know, hold down your, um, it helps for movement. I don't need that, because the uh, this shrine guardian hits with the um, hits with all three level three magics: uh, Fireaga, Blizzaga, Thundaga. It also hits with uh, with uh, ground attacks. So what you're gonna also want to look for is feather boots, unless there's something else that like can block all other elemental attacks. You can. Desert Boots is an okay idea. But, uh, you really. Yeah. 
If you got nothing that's going, uh, nothing else that's going, you want something that needs to absorb something, right? Coral rings an idea. Here. But uh, it needs to. Oh, I got a Gaia gear on him. I don't need to use this on Zidane, so I could probably throw something else that's going to help with. You can get something like um, for Zidane in this case. Yeah, maybe a Pumas piece. That's probably uh, maybe something that protects against something else, something like uh, this here. Coral Ring, which also absorbs Thunder Element attack, helps him out a little bit. And you're not going to need to... And here, anything that'll... Uh, there's nothing here that uh, is really going to help Zidane, so it's just kind of like, okay, it'll do. And over for Quina, again, whatever, get, whatever hits hardest. Meanwhile, over on this screen, you want Devil Killer equipped. Because that'll help, uh, help you out a little bit. You can... Look around, see if there's anything else you need. There's there's really nothing else you're going to need, not that I found. So you go over to to Quina, you just make sure it doesn't have Okay, it doesn't have that, so you just gotta make do with what you got. You don't wanna put on auto float because in this case using the desert boots absorbs earth attack, so it can heal her up. So we've got a couple of we've got some various defenses against some of the elemental magics. It's the idea to try and keep them in one piece sort of thing. So with that, we can head off to the... Yes, we do. We have the destination of the Earth Shrine. Now, we've we've been there before. We've been near there before. We just set course. Mr. Sulu, take us home. As we uh, ever so slightly stutter our way across the uh, the ocean here. Now we have seen. Now see if I remember where our boats were going. Think over here. There it is. This we've seen before. Remember I pointed it out. Yep, we'll come. This is Kuja's palace over here, right? And while we were over here, I pointed that out over there. It turns out that is the Earth Shrine. I seem to recall it maybe earthquaking while we were over on the other side as well. It's a very active shrine. Yes, it is. Ooh, mission music. Let's get going. L owns E. Ah, Zidane, you want to go with me? Well, I sort of got stuck with the leftovers. You know, I have to explain, I'm so happy. Huh? That old saying in my tribe. Leftovers good? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's probably full of good food. That's what we need is good food. As we wander into the Earth Shrine. Is no one here? Is empty? Well, what were you expecting? Who else is going to be at the Earth Shrine? Huh? Earthquake at the Earth Shrine. What's wrong? Did the ground just shake? Ground's been shaking the whole time. Just in here. Outside, it's shaking like mad. In here, not so much. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Quick time event. QTEs. My god. This place is empty. It's too quiet. It's a trap. They probably got scared of us and ran away. Who's they? What were you guys expecting? I hate it when you fret like that. That's why I always worry about you. What are you talking about? You're a perpetual worrier. I just have a lot of things on my mind. Ooh. Is it... I'm trying to figure out what that was from the last playthrough. It's like, what was that? We almost flat like pancake. I hope there aren't too many more of those. Dagger, please be safe. Think with your big head, brother. Wait, what the? It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Now, I think it might not be like a giant ball of water, but a giant ball of ice. It's a giant ball of frozen water. Let's go, Echo! Run, Forest! Meanwhile, somewhere else, when it loads. Ah, here. That's us. Ah, it's a place to put mirror. Now, one last chance. To do any equipping if you're playing. If you're considering this a walkthrough, this is your last chance to do some equipping. 
we'll, uh, Zidane, put mirror. Oh, I thought I was talking to... But, uh, I didn't have this problem the last time where I couldn't select the mirror slot. There we go. I just have to be as far away from Quinn as possible because every other time is, uh, I've been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. We meet again at last. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. All too easy. Freya, stand back. Well, that's interesting. It's just as Kuja said. He said I should expect intruders. Hi, aren't you pretty? What's with the top knot there? Are you under Kuja's command? He not good person. Why you work for him? No, we are the guardians of Terra. Guardians of Terra? Come on, you've heard the story before. I mean, yes, we are the guardians of Terra, filled with the power of Terra itself. What is Terra? God damn it! Hilda told you about this shit a couple weeks ago. We did not become guardians to chat with mortals. We derive pleasure from ending your worthless lives. Just to prove how powerful you are. So you understand, but that will that knowledge help you? Foolish. What? Pegging vice with strangers in a place like this. I used to know someone like that. He was a loser. He refused to find beneficial ways to use his power and said he'd sneak out people to fight. Do you mean that he managed to have a change of heart and like... Just because he fell down a hole? We fell into the pit. We all fell in that pit. Yeah, yeah. Every time I do this, I turn to Scott Sapp. <laughs> you will live to regret this. My wish, you will die regretting this. No, oh, no, this has gone poorly. Finished already, such weaklings. You. He's too fast, I can't target him with my magic. We can't take him on with just the two of us. Master Vivi, we have to. We true bad never gives up in a fight. But, we can defeat this monster if we work together. So which one of you will perish first? Silence, I shall vanquish you. Master Vivi, I shall attempt to hold him down. You attack him with your magic while I hold him down. But, what if I miss the target? Just don't use electricity, I'm wearing metal armor. Now, ah, Kuja told us there'd be eight rats. Sorry, it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. You don't worry, we eat everything. Ah, uh, Quina. <laughs> so you're attempting to conquer all of War Shrines at once. How futile. We'll see about that. Must try eating before we give up. What will you lower life forms do on Terra? Eh, won't know till we get there. See the sights, shoot the breeze, get a couple drinks. Must eat to find out what tastes good. Is this in from traveling around the world? Good. I shall show you the true meaning of fear. Boss fight time! Boss fight time! It's the time I sing boss fight time. And it loads. There it is. One big arena created for one fight. Yeah, the rest of them take place automatically. This one does not. Now he will use level 3 magic, so we gotta be careful. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck, honestly? What a start. Well... As long as he doesn't use that first. And he doesn't hit Quinna? No, he's, he's just hit Quinna. <laughs> That's not gonna... It's not a good start. So we'll, uh, we'll try that again. Hope for the best. Oh, nice dodge. I'll have Quinna use an elixir on herself. Because I have a good feeling. Oh, I should have used steel. Oh well. 
It's just really thunder and the physical attacks that worry me. There you go. First hit for almost 2,000 damage. That's exactly what you want to see. Now, Blizzaga, I don't forget who I have good for ice, but it's only hitting Zidane. Well, for 962, so. Now, Quinna does have, um, what does Quinna have? White Wind. It's just a little bit of healing. Not much, but a little bit of healing. There we go. 405, a little bit, like I said. Stole a rubber suit, that sounds good. So I think we're gonna call a steal there. Now, Fyraga, I think one of them's got absorbed for Fyraga. Might, this one might be Zidane to absorb. Nope. Um, shit, all right, let's not pause and watch. Let's get that white wind out again. Now that was all three of the magics. Usually in the last fight, it was a cycle of the three elemental magics followed by an earthquake. An earthquake... And there we go, that's up to 4,000 damage. Unless Quinna did an attack, in which case it might be closer to 5. Yeah, this will heal them up. Which is why I put all the... Um, all the absorbing stuff on there. So I could just go in and hit here. Oh, that was a bad attack. That was definitely the first time Quinna attacked, but I mean, at least it'll push us over 6,000 damage. I want to say it's closer to 20. All right. It'll be just easier if Quinna just uses the damned uh, high potion, so. It's got to load in that animation for the first time in this play session. It's a little better. And again, now we're probably close to 10,000, so we're halfway home. Now, if he hits Quinna, that's good. Because I'm trying to think... No, Zidane I put the Coral Ring on. Yes, it was. All right. Sitting back and waiting. Man, Quinna! Hit him hard! Now, Blizzaga, I think that's one we want to hit Quinna. Yeah, there we go. Because she's got a 50%. It's not a full... But... 50%? Jesus. <laughs> well, the high potion, we're gonna need to double up on the high potion while Zidane does the hitting. I think we're, we're, I know we're more than halfway there. I think at this point we're about three quarters of the way there, so if we could get a couple more hits from Zidane, we're fine. Oh, no. I didn't need to heal Quinn at all. Because this will do it for him. I think we could take the opportunity to get in the greedy steal. Man, I know that a lot of Quinn's offense is a lot of RNG, but still, just the same. That That's kind of balls. Fyraga. I, no, this one actually does hurt Zidane. And not for too much, though. Oh, that was a clutch dodge there. Oh, Quinna comes back with the 1,000. All right. Oh, that was... Oh, it was a crit. It was a crit. He got critted. Now we're in trouble. Now, now we're in trouble. That, that could turn on one critical hit. So now, now we're in trouble. Oh, fuck off, game. That was bullshit. Now we just need Quinna to... There we go. Come on. Hit this before he does anything. Hit this before he does anything. There we go. Need to hit Zidane with an elixir or hope for the best. Uh, please hit Quinna. Please hit Quinna. Please hit Quinna. Please hit Quinna. We don't know. We can't see. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, whatever. High potion Quinna. Oh no, Zidane had the coral ring. Shit. Well, I mean, I'd already queued up the elixir, so. Should we just sit and wait to see what happens? It's gonna hit Zidane. Just, just attack the guardian. Just attack him. Quinn, we can white wind here. White wind will help a little bit. Might survive, get him to survive one more hit if the next hit isn't. I think the next hit should be a, an earthquake, I think. But 
wait and see. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was right. So this will heal them up to full. All oh, the Quinn was already there. And we'll just uh, end this now. Oh, another miss! You've got to be kidding me. Now, now Quinn is hitting for six. So, I mean, we're pretty close to done at this point. This will hit Zidane up for about a thousand. Oh, almost half. We just hit, we can get him that hit. In. Oh, it's not done yet. Still not done. I thought we were done. Mang. Lizaga, please go Quinna. And. We need that hit to go. We need that hit in. Then just, G, G. No re, Mr. Earth Guardian. That is it. Calm day. Well, <laughs> some levels would have been nice since Quinn is like 12, or 10, sorry, rather 10 behind Zidane. And Phoenix Pinion, which almost makes up all the Phoenix Downs I used in that fight. Wonder if everyone okay. Oh, I'm sure they're fine. Right, we go back to airship now. As Quinna leads the jaunt outside. Fresh air, finally. Everett, you're the only one whose uh, guardian we didn't see. Zidane's unbelievable asking us ladies to fight a monster like that. Oh my gosh. What's wrong, Geiko? Oh, I completely forgot and we're all alone too. What is it? There's a question I need to ask you. I've been wanting to, a chance to ask you for the longest time. Give me an honest answer, okay? Well, you have to ask the question before I can answer. Mm, do you love Zidane? What? What? <laughs> dagger, dagger, what now? You have to answer me. Do you love him or not? Romantic music, romantic music. Nope, that's the sound of an airship. Did you just say something, Dagger? Let's go, Echo. Hey, wait, that's not fair. Ah, seldom is life fair, my dear. Well, now that we've got everyone, we can head to Shimmering Island. Hey, Amaranth, I didn't know you were here. So we'll go to Shimmering Island, then to Terra. Yeah, it's near Estogaza. It won't take long. Yeah, inter interstellar travel or interplanetary travel. That, that's fart. What motivates you to do this? And that's a Zidane answer. Everything for Dagger. Why would I be doing this if not for her? Too embarrassed to answer the question seriously. But I am serious. It's true, man. What's the deal? Why so serious? Why so serious? I'd do a pretty shit joker. There's no fun in figuring things out right away. I'm beginning to understand why he won and I lost. I lost against his way of thinking. What way of thinking? Thinking is not one of Zidane's strong suits. Alright, well that is this episode of Final Fantasy IX in the books. I gotta pick out a uh gotta pick out a lineup here. Some low level characters, just to level them up a little bit. Just in case I need to do it, but our next stop is the Shimmery Island. Where's the Shimmering Island? Uh, nope, I have to take a... There. Look at it shimmer. See there, Shimmering Island. That's where we're going to next, but that's not until next time on Final Fantasy IX. So until then, thanks very much for joining me. I'm on silent. Thanks as always for being here. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget to check out more Final Fantasy IX in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. More videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.